Hello and a welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to customize, save or remove a workspace. Let's get started. Open a new document. Any size will do. In the upper right corner of the interface is a button called Choose Workspace. If the button is not there, let me show you how to find it. Go to Settings, choose Configure Toolbars. Click here and choose uh, Brushes and Stuff. In this search bar, start typing the beginning of the word Workspace. And uh, here is a button. Click on it to activate it. Using the right arrow, move it on the other side of the panel. Click Apply and uh, click OK. And here it is. We are going to customize a workspace and to do so, we need to choose a simpler workspace than this one here. Click on the Choose Workspace and choose the default one. To get out of this menu box, click anywhere on the interface. Now, I don't know about you, but I like to work efficiently. It's always nice to be able to see all my tools with all their respective action buttons at the same time. So let me help you make this happen. First, we are going to move the toolbox to the top of the canvas. With your left mouse button, grab the top corner. Now drag it until a space opens and highlights. When a space highlights in Krita, this means that it is free to use and therefore it is ready to accept your Docker. Now lift your finger from the left mouse button and this will drop the Docker in there. So as you can see here the Docker is too big. We are going to minimize its size over the white dots. Now your cursor is transforming into two white arrows, one pointing up and one pointing down. The only thing left to do is drag the border of the dockers up until we only have one row of tools. Click on the tab Tool Options. Click on this button, the one that looks like the Restore button used in all the Microsoft documents. This will eject the docker from its current place. Now, as usual, using your left mouse button, you are going to drag the docker underneath the toolbox. And this time, we are going to make the docker a little bigger. Thanks to this new layout, we have access to all our tools and their respective action buttons. As you can see, each time I click on a tool, the action buttons appears right below. Next, I'm going to show you how to get rid of what you don't need and for the purpose of this demonstration, I will close two dockers. To close a docker, it's very simple. Click on the X button located right here beside the eject button. Now, if you change your mind, you can always restore a docker and I'm going to show you how very soon. First, let me close those two dockers. Alright, now to restore or add a new Docker, go to the settings and click on Dockers. Here is a list of all the Dockers available in Krita. Now just check the box next to the Docker that you want to restore or the Docker that you want to add. I am going to add this one here, the Undo History Docker. And it appears right here at the bottom. As usual, uh, drag the dots uh, to change the size of your Docker. Time to save our newly created workspace. 
let's go back to the workspace button but uh, however this time rather to choose a pre-existing workspace so we are going to add ours to the listing start typing a name in this dialog box and click save your workspace has been added to the list All right, uh, I have this workspace that I had uh, created earlier for the purpose of this uh, video and uh, we are going to remove it together. Open your Windows File Explorer, double click on the C drive, double click on Users, double click on your name, double click on App Data, double click on Roaming, Double click on Krita and finally double click on this one here, Workspaces. The only thing left to do is uh, click on the uh, workspace I want to remove and uh, hit the delete button on my keyboard. Now if we go back to Krita, we will see that the name is still listed, it's normal. In order for the changes to take place, we are going to need to close the application. All right, now let's open a new document. Any type of document will do again. Go back to the button. And as you can see, it's gone. So we are done for today. Until next time, have a great week painting in Krita. Au revoir et à bientôt.